Hi everybody, Jim from County Corvette. I have a 63 split window coupe. This is a real red car, Riverside Red. Black interior, 340 four-speed car. Now, this car is 90% original paint, which is really a special thing. Uh, we, we started servicing this car back in 2012. The, the client brought it to us, actually had it shipped to us, and we started going through the car, starting with re rebuilt uh, engines. It's an 83 and change thousand mile uh, original car. And we've since maintained it for them. We also added vintage air. Now, as I've said, you know, to, to you know, many times on, on these videos, uh, originality, an original paint car trumps a restored car, in my opinion. That's what Bloomington uh, survivor judging and NCRS uh, benchmark judging is all about. I'm not saying this car is a survivor. That's a word of art, trademarked by Bloomington. Uh, it, it possibly could be a candidate, but actually what we have here is, is a really interesting driver. And that's what it's been used for since our client had it uh, over a period of about nine years. This client lives about an hour from here, and he drove this car down here whenever he had it serviced. Came in on a rollback a couple times, as it did the first time. But generally speaking, this became a really reliable driver for this guy. He spent a lot of money maintaining it properly, and a few times he asked me what I thought about the paint. And I said, hey, um, do you want my opinion or, or what are you asking? He said, no, I want your personal opinion on what I should do with the car. And my personal opinion to him was, if it were mine, I'd leave it be. Now, it's 90% original paint. It's touched up here. There was a little bit of damage in here. Not significant. It wasn't a hard hit on the left. God only knows what happened. You know, it could have been in the driveway or something. A bicycle could have hit it. But it was spotted in here. And over the years, you can see where this, this paint has... Uh, has faded a little bit and it's actually a little bit orangey. This is an orangey red to start with, but this has really lost its, its red luster. Now, lacquer is still available. This could be touched up, but then you're gonna get into where do you stop? That's how restoration started. Simple exercise like that. So that's something to consider. Also, at one point in this car's life, it had three taillights. The additional uh, two taillights in the center was a real popular thing in the 70s that was fixed and spotted in as well. You can see evidence of it, it's fairly clear. But you know, I, I look past all that because it's a real red car with the, you know, mostly original paint. The glass is all original in this car, except for the vent window. That was replaced, who knows, it could have fallen out. Uh, somebody could have lost their keys, but that was replaced. All the other glass is original to this car. The interior is original with the exception of the front carpet. Seat covers, door panels, dash pads, rear carpets, headliner, all that stuff's so original. And it's just cool, it's a really cool piece. I don't think this windshield's ever been out of this car. It's got the original blue in there, the, the original adhesives, and it's, it's just a neat piece. And, and I'll tell you something, this car runs really nice. I'm gonna take you guys out in a, in a, uh, in a ride in it, and it performs as it should. We, as I said, rebuilt this engine and it's done right. It's 11 to one compression. Actually, I think it's like 11 and a quarter to one. And not much to say other than real red car, 63 split window with an original motor. It's not a restamp either. It's an original engine car. That's special. So depending on what somebody wants to do with this car, you can continue to drive it as it is. You could do a full repaint or you could do some touch up work on it. Um, if, if it were mine, in all honesty, I'd probably try to touch it up first. So that would be a cool thing to do because this paint's actually in phenomenally good shape. It doesn't have the checking that most lacquer paint jobs have. This car always sat inside and it just would not have held up this long otherwise. So I'm gonna show you under the hood here and then we'll take this thing out for a drive. Okay, so under here we have the original rebuilt engine, it does have headers on it. The guy wanted it back on there. That's a set of original correct manifolds, it's not a big deal. But again, it's got the added AC 
uh, aftermarket AC, the vintage air. Now we do that in a way that we don't drill holes or bastardize or molest the firewall or anything. So uh, it could be reversed, but it is kind of cool having an AC uh, 63340. The radiator is a, a replacement. It's not exactly correct. It's pretty correct under the hood here, you know, some little things. But again, it's not a it's not a car that's going to be judged NCRS. I mean, you could, but it wasn't intended to uh, to be done with that with the original with the prior owner. But the things that I look for, you know, like this edge along the the uh, the gutter here, it's it's not all chewed up. So, you know, this this thing didn't have an engine in and out of it 50 times because that's what happened. They pick the engine up and whack off a piece here and there. It's just it's just a nice original piece and that's how the whole car looks it, it, it just was an original well-kept lightly used car all of its life and 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 in the right colors so with all that said um you know like the distributor's correct the, the carbs correct um i don't know about the alternator but all that little stuff is is the big piece is all correct in here I'll put it to you that way the master cylinder is a replacement, but we did all that. We went through the brakes on this thing. I have extensive receipts on this car as well. We kept all the records for it, and we spent a significant amount of money maintaining this car and, and doing whatever it needed. And, and with no, no reservation, he, he always had it uh, serviced properly. All right, so with that, and it's got like original horns and all that. Those horns are rare, by the way. All right, with that, I'm gonna take you out for test drive. Oh, get the hood release here. I have to go back in. Let's go for a ride. Well, we got some nice weather here today to take this thing out. I have to confess, we tried this earlier and it started raining on me, but we're good to go now. Now, a few things in here. This clock was rebuilt using a quartz movement. It's the sweeping, not the ticking. But mostly, like this entire dash here, this is original. It's, not, it's never been apart. And that's just kind of cool. All this stuff, all these sun visors, the headliner, dash pads door panels, seat covers, all original stuff. Even the center console is original, which it's interesting that it never got really all that banged up. But I think that kind of shows how this car was owned and maintained. Somebody really loved this car. And here's the thing with it. 63, real red, original, original driveline 340. This car is always, always going to have value, and, and significant value. At some point, somebody will do a body off restoration on this car, but I think it would be cool if it lasted a little bit longer being used as a driver. Just something, something really cool about having a car like this that you can take out and use. Because once it's restored, it's a game changer. You're going to be, you're going to have a lot of money invested in it, and you're going to be afraid to, afraid to get a chip or damage or whatever. This is a car you can just drive now. Maybe somebody will take a shot at having either us or whomever do some touch-up work on it and lacquer, and get some more use out of it. It just be, so, it would just be such a, such a damn shame. car has radial tires on it and it runs and tracks really nice. I'm actually going to put the AC on in there. Okay. We got a little bit of 
of traffic here today. I don't like driving cars like this in such traffic, but it is what it is today. Alrighty, here we go. This is a 6500 RPM red line. We're up to temp. Let's, let's let it do its thing here. This thing runs its ass off. So there you go. Now I only went up to 50, you know, 700 in first to second, but I got it up to up to the yellow anyway, probably 6300 in third gear. This thing don't miss a beat. And I believe it's running on regular pump gas as well. Not not ab gas or you know like a Sunoco high performance fuel. So if you run it on something like that, it's going to be even more responsive. But it runs great. Fun little car. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Somebody, somebody needs to really enjoy this car for what it is and hopefully preserve it a little bit longer. I'd be delighted to continue to maintain this car. You know, you get relationships with cars, and this is just one of those cars that you just, it's like an old friend. You don't want to see it go. Some cars I'm happy to see go away. Uh, <laughs> you all know what, what they're like, but not this one. This is a car I would own in exactly this condition, too. So thanks for watching our little video here. Please give us a call or shoot us an email if you have any interest in it. We'll, we take trades. We take reasonable offers, although this thing is priced for for what it is. And I don't think there's anything on the market that's even close to it. So you're going to have a hard time price shopping it. Anyway, that's that. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel check in often and if you have any interest in this one give Ed, Ed or I a call and we'll, we'll make something happen. Again thanks for watching.